allow me to give you a bit of an insight as to how this whole um, element of energy works. When you become an equivalent to something, whatever that is, let's say you're really high vibrational. Okay, now, the outside surrounding area, the Earth, is sentient. So she's receiving your telepathic signals that you're sending, either consciously, subconsciously, unconsciously, superconsciously, or whatever the case may be. Either way, you're sending out transmissions. You're, broad, you're broadcasting these transmissions that are being picked up by the Earth, by the cosmos, the universe, source, all things. Okay, now, in your immediate surrounding environment, like let's say you're in your room, you're looking out the window, you're looking at trees and you know the sky and clouds. Now, if you're in a high vibration, you're going to start to see like depictions, like um, forms and figures and faces start to you know appear in the trees themselves. The trees will will generate these these depictions, these 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 um, forms and shapes, like faces or whatever it is. You could see a dragon, or you could see uh, smiling faces. You know because it's it's it what's doing is it's responding to that dominant vibration and it's concurring with your frequency, with your broadcast, because you're broadcasting out happy, love, peace, you know, and the universe is going, okay, 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 you got it. This is what you want to see, you got it. So not only does this alter your own reality for however long you can sustain it, but the surrounding physical environment will concur with that vibrational alignment. So you like, you just start seeing smiley faces and happy things and pleasant things and, you know, in the trees, like you can look at uh, bark on a tree, you'll see just faces and figures and forms that are recognizable and identifiable but they they, they uplift you. you you'll start to see things appear that what where they apparently weren't there once before uh, science likes to ex explain this away as pareidolia a psychological phenomenon in which the mind makes sense of re irregular shapes and patterns which is all garbage it's just their veil attempt to explain away the metaphysical and the supernatural and the spiritual once again just like they've been telling you for 75 years there's no such thing as extraterrestrials. It's a weather balloon. It's a reflection of Jupiter. It's swamp gas. You know, all that garbage. So when you know something is staring right at you, you could see a face or eyes or something recognizable. It doesn't have to be um, just outside Mother Nature. It could be in your in your house. Like if you have like paneling on your floor or, you know, some sort of like wood table, the, the grains in the wood or whatever. It, the, the universe is going to concur with that alignment and say, here, we're going to send you things that, re that you will recognize in that moment that you're in that vibrational environment and everything will be conducive to it. So here, this is, where, this is our offering that you're asking for. And like, wow, I didn't see this before 10 years ago. Well, because 10 years ago, you didn't possess the elevated level of metaphysical superconsciousness high enough to be able to view these things that were staring at you right in your face. But if you tend to drop out of that and go back low again, then those same set of trees you were looking at with the happy smiling faces, you're going to see demonic faces and evil and, because it's concurring with that alignment. You look at the same floor where once you saw, you know, um, you know, positive things and maybe you see like eyes or faces or shapes or whatever that are positive, but now they won't be because now they're, they're actually sentient and they're concurring to that vibrational alignment that you're currently in. So if you can get yourself to a point where you can you know, you can, um, you can reach a certain level and stay there, then that's when you really nailed this whole thing and not allow this world to affect you in any way. Just learn from it, assess it, don't assimilate it, observe it, don't become it, you know, allow them to be your teacher, but don't take them serious. You know, people that are negative or angry that insult you, cut you off, whatever it is. Because then you take that high vibrational alignment and then you become an equivalent to where they are. And then you're just going to see angry faces everywhere you go. And it just, it, what happens is that supports the vibrational environment that you're in and it just reinforces it and just drives you down even lower. So that's why people hear voices in their head telling them to kill themselves or kill others or do horrible things because they're in a low vibrational environment and they're susceptible to the darkness. They're vulnerable to psychic attack. See, when people vibrate high, the darkness can't attach itself to you because there's no vibrational equivalent to allow them to do it because you're way too high and they're way too low. It's just common sense. So just recognize that if you start seeing like faces, like let's say you have a kitchen table made of wood and you had it for 30 years and all of a sudden like, oh my God, I didn't see this before. How come I didn't notice it? Well, you are in a vibrational equivalent to the environment that this is conducive as an element of. Basically, you were not speaking the language. You didn't have the persistence of vision necessary to see it at that time because you were, you know, unconscious. You know, this is what happens when you when you ascend into consciousness, everything is just like, 
the illusion becomes exactly what it is. It has to reveal itself as an illusion. It cannot perpetuate a lie anymore and perpetrate a fraud. It cannot carry itself as a reality because it never was. That is what's going to happen when you shatter the third dimensional barrier. And don't be surprised if all of the people that are supposedly your friends don't want to be hanging out with you anymore because now you're not speaking a language that they can identify or that they're comfortable with. And that language is called the truth. And they can't deal with it. Because in that third dimensional unconscious state of slumber, the only language that's spoken is prevarication. Illusions, deception, chicanery, subterfuge, you know, lies, games, the usual optical three-dimensional puppet show. That's basically what it is. But anyway, that's just some of the things that happen because this earth is a living, breathing entity. You know, when you look up the clouds, you start seeing faces. I mean, seriously, detailed faces, just like a picture that has been photoshopped to make it look like it's clouds. And I've had this happen to me constantly, and it still happens to me all the time, because now my universe knows that I am at a level where I'm not um, oblivious to it. So now they're, they know that my level of comfortability is such that everything is blatant. There's no, okay, let's not really spook them, but, you know, let's do this in a subtle way. For me, that's long gone. For you, because you're, you're, you're like a novice to this, you're just beginning, they're going to subtly send you these things. They can't overtly do it blatantly because you'll freak out and lose your mind because this is not something you used to ha you're handling. Not at all. Don't forget, you've been coddled and swaddled by an illusion and pampered by one. You know, that's why people have, you know, no tolerance for the truth. Absolutely none. It's this euphemistic conditioning that's just rotting the very, f the very fiber of society. You can't even approach anybody and speak truth to them. You have to tell them what they want to hear how special they are, how great they are, you can do no wrong. That's not the truth. That's not even close to the truth. And if you tell somebody the truth about themselves, they get butt hurt, they get insulted, and they might start swinging. Who knows? But anyway, I'm just saying, the truth is that once you start ascending, you'll see things change, and the universe will concur, but the earth will concur too with that alignment, because the universe and the earth are one and the same, and they're all connected to you. And that is a part of your vibrational environment. So you'll see trees start to form shapes and faces and you know depictions and designs and drawings and graphic illustrations whatever it is i mean you, you'll start to see things and science says you're not seeing what you're seeing and if you're seeing it you're a nut job because listen to us because we know everything <clears throat> how old is science what three thousand years or less trying to explain the human condition that's four million years old on an earth that's five billion years old which is actually no age and a universe that has no age how does that work you know, how does that work? Imagine a newborn baby arrives on this earth and starts to tell you how, you know, this is this and this is that when they don't know anything at all. And this place has been here for trillions. You know, you, you get the picture. You know, so whatever science has to say about anything other than their own infrastructure, you know, yeah, their machines, their computers, that's wonderful stuff that that's not going to be here in a thousand years. That'll all fall to the wayside. When humanity reaches terminus, and the universe moves on to something else, and there's no semblance of memory of anything being here, because Mother Earth will reclaim herself. She will heal herself and regenerate and renew herself and revitalize herself and regenerate to where it was pre-human occupancy, because she has that capacity to do it, trust me. The Earth will reclaim all of these things, the buildings, the structures, the modernity, you know, modern society, the buildings, the infrastructure, the roads, the bridges, the tunnels. Over time, they will all be consumed by the earth. They will collapse and they will absorb themselves into the earth again. And there will be no trace of them, you know? But you have to recognize that the earth is a living, breathing entity and it's connected as much to you as you are to God and source because everything is one. But anyway, I thought you'd like to know something, a point of interest perhaps.